morning, everyone, from the Valle Vidal in the Carson National Forest in northern New Mexico. Today, I'm doing a P2K and a New Mexico 12er. It's the same peak, Little Costilla Peak. We are, like I said, in the Valle Vidal, and it was a beautiful drive-in in in the morning. It was full moon, a low fog over the whole open meadows. Hopefully, we'll see more as we climb up, but I'm expecting it to be a sort of short day. It was the longest drive to get here from my home, about three hours. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. So let's get going. Here's the moon. Pretty sure I hear a turkey calling too. Only like a quarter mile, maybe half mile in. And it's just crazy how much nature you can hear. I hope it comes through on the camera a little bit, but on and off, I'll hear elk bugling, calling to each other across the canyons. Hear the turkeys, I've heard them roosting. It's crazy. I don't know much about mushrooms, but aren't the uh, psychedelic ones supposed to grow out of cow poop? You can't really appreciate its magnitude from here, but that's the route we're going, sorry. That's the route we're going, straight up Little Costilla. Costilla means rib in Spanish, and I can see why they named it that, because it is just like a big rib that goes up and up and up. So we'll be following that the entire hike. It's off trail, by the way. Okay, well, I ran into the barbed wire fence. That's in all the troop reports saying the closest thing to a trail is along this dilapidated fence. It's good. So it's good when reality lines up with what you read in trip reports. The sun is starting to peek over the ridge. Reminding me I forgot to put on sunscreen <laughs> at the car. Lots of elk calls. It's just a beautiful wild place. We're just above 10, uh, 11,000 feet right now. It's got about 1,500 to go. And it's... Uh, hmm. Not even 7 a.m. yet, so we're making good time. Okay, so it's about 7.30. Say we're about 11,800 feet. Haven't hit tree line yet, but we're getting our first glimpse. I don't think that's actually the peak, but the peak would run behind it. Looking west, or left, which is west. Kind of see the uh, Culeba Range in New Mexico. I believe that cloud-covered one right there dead center is State Line Peak. And if you allow me to move a little bit, it might be Harrocito Creek Peak right there, dead center. And wooing that big one in the center covered with clouds is probably Big Costilla. Now out there would be the Latier Group, highest point there being Venado Peak, which is a P2K. Gold Hill way out there, which you've seen me summit. And if you haven't, go check that video out. There's Ute Peak, right there. I also have a video of that where I summit the peak. It's a very cool peak, although not very high up. By New Mexico standards, it is a P2K. There's our old friend, Baldy Mountain, which is in retrospect, one of my favorite mountains I've ever climbed. It's actually the highest point on the Phil Mountain Scout Ranch. Really cool peak. Very difficult to get to if you're not there on a scout trip, which of course I wasn't. And uh, speaking of scouts, this peak, Little Costilla, has a surprisingly high number of ascents, given that it's so remote. And if you poke through the trip reports a little bit, you realize that a lot of those ascending this peak are actually here on Phil Mount trips. Um, the Philmont Scout Ranch, which is a very large property owned by, well, technically now it's owned by a bank, but uh, owned by the Boy Scouts. They uh, do summer trips here. And, you know, I went, I uh, flew to Chicago a couple weeks ago, probably not still totally acclimated yet. And uh, tons of scouts getting on and off planes, going to Philmont or coming from Philmont. And I imagine for a lot of them, if they go on a trip like this, it's the highlight of their entire trip 
probably their entire time in the Boy Scouts and maybe even their entire life. There's a rabbit. Well, I could be wrong. I think that peak dead center kind of that blends in with the clouds, I think that's Capilene Volcano, which uh, is another peak you can see on this channel. Well, I decided to stop above tree line, which is uh, actually right around 12,000 feet. And I'm just appreciating the view here. It's a little breezy, but yeah, that's the Valle Vidal. This is also part of the Valle Vidal. Actually, this area is so beautiful. I'm in love with this view. Another little bit of showing off some peaks. That one right there is Fisher Peak Mesa, which is like the highest point around Raton Pass area. It's actually in Colorado. If you don't count it as part of the Rockies, is the highest peak east of the Rockies in the US. You see the Tooth of Time out there. That's on my Scott Ranch. I believe that's Mount Phillips, but possibly Mount Tolby back there. Of course, Baldy and Touch Me Not behind it. You see the Valle Vidal, and then back there, that would be the Moreno Valley, which is, or maybe that's not the Moreno Valley. I can't remember what that area is called, but basically where Angel Fire and Eagle Nest Lake are. Just amazing. I'd say we're about 250 vertical feet from the top. You see kind of the view into the Valle Vidal, and uh, I guess this is part of this would be Ted Turner's ranch as well, um, Bermejo Park. That's Ash Mountain North. And uh, Ash Mountain South. Phil Robinson, that legend, he did Little Costilla and the two Ash Mountains as one trip, which is just crazy. That's, uh, it looks pretty steep. But I have wanted to see this point in person for uh, pretty much ever since I started looking at the maps around here. It's just like, it's called Elk Meadows. And there's a stream and it just kind of goes through this notch between the two mountains and you can tell it looks like, looks like hundreds of feet drop off. I don't think it's a waterfall, but I mean, it's just weird that like that's the path the water took. The final push. GPS says about 50 vertical feet. Got a marmot in the foreground. Got some view into Colorado. Culebra Peak. Surrounded by clouds. Awesome. Okay. Little Costilla Peak. Of course, I have to get some physical proof that I was here. Put that back in the summit register. All right, so I think my time on this peak is pretty much done. It's another New Mexico 12er. I think I've got over a third done now. And it's also my fourth. So I my goal that I stated back in January for 2022 was to do, or was to complete the list of New Mexico P2Ks north of I-40. This was one of them on the list, one of six. I've only got two left. Truchas and uh, Mount Phillips. So wish me luck for those. Truchas, aiming for, fingers crossed, Labor Day weekend. But, yep, thanks for joining me. Thanks for being here with me on this beautiful, beautiful hike. Uh, also the Colfax County High Point, in addition to the 12er status and P2K status. Anyway, hopefully I'll see some cool wildlife and elk or bighorn sheep or something on the way down, but otherwise, talk to you later. hike way faster on the way down but it was nice